What's going on, y'all? It's your boy GJ Swag back in with another reaction video. You know, we're gonna be reacting to some things that'll get you scared. You know, some things that will make you want to stay up at night. <laughs> Let's hope, hope we can get scared. It's hard. It's hard to scare me. I'm lying. It's really easy to scare me. We're gonna be reacting to true. Omega or Omega, whatever it's called, chat room horror story animated. And one thing before we start this, make sure your lights are off. And make sure it's completely dark in your room. Make sure you're in full screen. Get something to eat, something to drink, a nice beverage. And we're going to get right into this video. Shorts Party True Omegle Chat Room Horror Story Narrated by I don't want to move that This story happened to me a couple years ago It happened on a Saturday night I was typing on a school report for my English class And was pretty worn out from the tedious amount of thinking That transpired throughout the paper I decided to take a break and procrastinate a little bit Maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos I needed to take some stress off my mind bus? But didn't really have anyone to vent or talk to this gave me the idea to visit a chat room called Omegle. For those of you who don't know Omegle. what Omegle is, it's a chat room where you can literally video chat with random strangers online through- You heard what he just said? It's a video chat group where you can chat with random strangers online. Your computer webcam. Needless to say, Omegle definitely helped with my social skills growing up as a child, so I was always active on it. I remember this one particular night. I was having trouble meeting. Why are you just gonna people. skip on the black guy? This left me a little <laughs> frustrated, to say the least. But that's the kind of thing to expect when you're on these kind of chat sites. That's when I stumbled upon this one guy. Ew. He looked to be around the same age group as myself and seemed like a pretty harmless individual. I decided to say hi. He didn't say anything back, he just typed the word hi in the chat box. Okay. I found it kind of weird that he would go through the effort of typing out hi as opposed to just saying hi verbally. He then waved at me and began typing something else. He introduced himself in the chat box saying, My name is Daniel, what's your name? I verbally said, My name is James, how are you? He then stares at the camera and doesn't say a word to me, completely dismissing the fact that I just asked him a question. Dude, weird. At this point, I was convinced that this had to be some sort of pre-recorded video and that someone was just trolling me. That's when he began typing in the chat box again saying, I'm deaf, please type in the chat box unless you know sign language. I honestly felt stupid and immediately nah, typed, lying. no worries, my name is James, and gave a quick thumbs up as an act of kind gesture. He immediately typed back saying, nice to meet you, James, and gave me a thumbs up as well. Dude, lying. He then typed something else that left me dumbfounded. He said, I will use my whiteboard to chat with you going forward because my hands will be occupied. With what? Confused by what he meant by that, <laughs> so I typed, what do you mean by your hands being occupied? I mean, they look occupied right now. He then whiteboard and raises it up on the screen, which read, want to play a game? Yep, I that's when I sure click off and go happen. talk to some other what strangers. Is something I will never well, not even talk to, to strangers, go to bed. He held a revolver up with one hand and the whiteboard up with the other hand saying, Let's Ah, oh, nah. Oh, no. I was honestly, quite creeped out by this guy and was contemplating on clicking the stop option to skip this weirdo. That's skip! Wrote another message on the whiteboard saying, One of six. Skip! Let's go! Pass up on one him! One of six men. Pause. He then took the revolver, slipped one bullet inside the cylinder, and began spinning it with his other hand. What I is now this guy's what problem? He by one of six. It seemed like the guy was about to demonstrate an act of Russian roulette with one bullet in the cylinder of six. He then puts the revolver against his head. How did he do that? I began typing. What are you doing? Please stop this. The guy then smiles disturbingly on the camera and pulls the trigger. Nothing happened. He starts laughing hysterically like a psycho. I was honestly disturbed, but also skeptical that the gun bro, was real, I, so I... Bro, I'm literally looking behind me right now, because I am honestly freaked typed. out. Is that even real? 
He then points the revolver at the wall and begins to repeatedly press the trigger until the shot was fired. Oh, Jesus. I was completely blown away by what I was seeing and typed, Dude, you could have died! That's when the guy raised the whiteboard to the screen again, showing the message, five of six. I frantically started typing, don't do it, repeatedly in the chat box, desperately trying to get his attention. He then began loading the revolver with five bullets while I gestured no by waving my hands back and forth like a lunatic. Is I this knew guy? the odds of him surviving Whoa. this time were slim to none. He then raises the revolver against his head once again and begins to disturbingly smile with tears running down his face. He began mumbling the words, It was nice meeting you, James. I immediately slam my laptop shut as I hear a gunshot a split second before the laptop was fully closed. I was left baffled on my computer desk. Wow. I hadn't a clue what to do. I stupidly opened my laptop. Oh my, my god! Eyes. I pressed my hand against the screen where the video chat was located. I opened my eyes, and through the cracks of my fingers, I can see blood displayed everywhere on the screen. I immediately click the exit button on the Google Chrome tab and call it a night. To this day, I'm still skeptical about what I saw that night. I haven't reported anything to the police, nor have I reported anything to Omekel. I'm not sure if that was the wisest decision, but I hope I never encounter anyone like that again. Bro. What? So this next video is called I Heard It Too. Let's check it out. Full screen. Them lights better still be off. A girl heard her mom yell her name from downstairs. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is the quality so bad? Hold on. Got it and started to head down. Still doesn't look any better, but okay. As she got to the stairs. Her mom pulled her into her room and said, I heard it too. Ew! Ew! Bro, what is this? I just clicked. Stay, Stay in here and don't make a sound. Ew! <laughs> oh my god! Bro, what am I watching, bro? Oh my god! Ugh. Bro, what am I watching? Ew! Well, that happened. Oh, God, I wouldn't come out if I were you. Pause. Ooh! She's coming back up. What is going on? That's it? Wait, no, there's more. Narrated by Let's Read. Hey, that was so weird, but it was so scary at the same time. I like that one. I, I really did like that one. That was pretty good. This next video is called Blackout. By, by the name, I'm freaked out. But let's watch it. Yep, I'm already freaked out. We're in full screen. The lights better be off. Oh god, oh god, it's first person. It is first person. You've got to be kidding me. No, no. Why first person? Why? Don't you can't be doing this to me, bro. 
Bro, what are you moving your legs like that for? Or is somebody else in your bed? Who's that on the left side? I saw that too. I saw that on the left, bro. I saw that on. I knew I saw something. I know. I knew. I knew I saw something, bro. No, 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 no. Oh my goodness, bro. I'm scared. I'm honestly terrified. I think I'm talking too much. I think I'm talking too much. Oh my god. It's first per- Bro, what am I watching? They got people, and they got people mowing their lawns outside, everywhere. What day is it? It's Monday. People mow their lawns on Monday. No, no, no. It's gonna be ahead. I get it. Uh... Oh, okay. Just don't turn around. Don't turn around. Don't look up. 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 Please don't look up. Oh my god! Are you- Oh my god, it's me. Oh, no, 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 I can't do this. I just saw it again! Oh my god, I'm scared, bro. And of course the light. Of course they don't work. Of course they don't. Nah. What's that? What's that voice? It's down the hall and everything. Ah nah. Not that music. Bro, I want, I have the urge to click out this video right now. Don't open that door. The audacity. Bro, what is this music? Oh my god! Bro! Why is it in first person? Why is it in first person? Why? Oh no, please pre put it back on, put it back on, put it back on, please. Turn the music back on, it's too quiet. Ah! Oh my god! Oh, oh my god. Bro, my computer just... Bro, bro, I j Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro, bro, I just knocked my computer off of my desk. I swear to god, I just knocked my computer off of my desk. Run outside, just run, run. Don't go back in that house. Run. No, don't even go in the car. Just keep running. Just keep running. No, 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 no. No, no. Don't do this. What the heck? What am I watching? What am I watching? <laughs> bro, bro, that was so good, bro. I actually like that one. I like that one. That was so good.
the last the last video last horror film that we got for today is called I used to work the graveyard shift at Dunkin Donuts Let's full screen it and let's just check it out wait what the I thought I, had to play. I okay. used to work the graveyard shift at a Dunkin Donuts for those of you who don't know what a Dunkin Donuts is, it's basically a donut chain that sells coffee, breakfast items, and of course, donuts. This brings me to a little over a month ago when our location was recently selected to become 24 hours. A lot of other establishments would maintain a 24 hour drive through window, but ours was fully open. I'll be honest, it was interesting I hate to see donuts. the I really new do. I hate donuts. customers who would come in during these hours. We of course had the hipsters Ew. and goths who had nothing better to do at 3 a.m. than to sit in a coffee shop drinking one cup for an hour. Bro, you're eating there so were the messy. There occasional overworked businessmen and interns Get a trying desperately to finish that last minute presentation. A couple weeks ago I had encountered a new type of customer though he is very difficult to describe. Have you ever met someone that makes you nervous for some unknown reason? Well, at around 2.30 a.m., a man walked in with a large overcoat, Ew! a collar pulled up, and a black beanie on his head. What struck me as odd first was the lack of people in our lobby. Normally, at this time, we'd have the goths huddled in the corner cursing the system or something. But the entire store was empty aside from this man, myself, Aww. and my manager who was in the back. It was just you and that man. After this person walked in, I thought it had to be a homeless man. Trying to escape long the cold that and possibly seek out a hot cup of pity. But then I saw his face. He was somewhat gaunt, but cleanly shaven. His eyes had dark circles around them as if he were tired, but he SAY SOMETHING! Energized. Jesus Christ, stop, just, stop looking at me! Just say something! At that moment, I realized how tall this guy was. Like Kobe tall. I oh, you belong in the like NBA if you're that tall! He just stared straight ahead as if he were zoning out. I repeated my question a bit louder. He only said one word. Coffee. Give him coffee. Give that man coffee. The man then leaned down and looked me in the eye and asked me if I was alone. I told him I wasn't, that my manager was in the back room. He then pulled out a few crumpled up dollar bills, handed it to me, and then walked back out of the door without taking his coffee with him. What the heck? As soon as he left the building, I felt this intense atmosphere lift up from around me. I was at a loss for words, to be honest. I quickly rushed to the back and told my manager about the whole situation, to which he told me to put the man's money aside in case he comes back for it. The next night, everything was back to normal. The usual customers sat in their respective seats, sipping their coffee. While okay. I was keeping myself busy and mopping the floor, I couldn't help but think about the interaction I had last night. That's when I happened to look out of our front window. Bro, this dude has actual I problems. He was standing across the street under a streetlight. He was just standing there, staring at me. I turned to see if my manager was behind the counter, and when I looked back, he was gone. At that point, I was starting to feel unnerved. My last night working there was the worst by far. And also, the reason I quit. I had arrived to work and relieved the people working before me. That's when I received a call from my manager telling me that he had a family emergency and would be a few hours late. I was upset, but there wasn't much I could do, so I just said alright. After three uneventful hours of me cleaning the same racks over and over again to keep my mind off things, I glanced out of the window once more. What I saw made my blood turn to ice. OH MY GOD! On the other side of the window, he was grinning at me with a sinister smile that caused my body to seize up. Right away, I pulled out my cell phone and called the police. Well, While my phone was ringing, the man did something strange. Without peeling his eyes from Ew. the glass, he pulled out a cell phone from his pocket. I watched him carefully as he began to type something into the phone without even looking at it. At that moment, my phone buzzed, notifying me of a text. Uh, the message said, Now you're alone. Wait, is that it? Bro. These 
were literally the best. These honestly scared me. So I have goosebumps like literally all over my body. Bro, if y'all enjoyed, you know what? You can do one more video. Okay, so this, the final, and I mean final one. This one is called Don't Stop for Gas at Night. Get into full screen. Let's play. Back in the summer of 2016, I got my first job at 18 years old. I was excited about the work, but not about the commute. Without traffic, it was a 30 minute drive both ways. And I normally got off work around midnight. And the last thing I wanted to do was drive a half hour to get home. And during the first few weeks, I was still getting used to my new routine. And one of the first things my mother told me was to keep an eye on my gas tank. And if I ever needed more, I should leave early and Dang, stop your mom on the way. Young. But never on my way back. Your mama look real I young. I understood her concern. I was a petite Wait, 18 who's the mom? Female, who's and I the looked mom? even younger. But being who I was, I half forgot, half ignored that advice. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Organize your car. Look at this. It's all, bro, this car is junk, bro. You need to organize God, that car. I ignored that advice. And one night on my way home, I realized I legitimately didn't have enough gas in the tank to get me to my exit. I pulled into the first station I could find, not caring about the brand or the cost of the gas. Bro, look I at decided that gas to station. make it as quick as possible. Nothing but the litter. only about $10 worth, just to get myself out of there. I swiped my card and began pumping gas. And once it got to the $10 mark, I shut it off and printed out my receipt. Thinking the worst was behind me, I was about to climb back into my car and book it home, when a voice came from the tiny intercom above the pump. Ma'am, there was a problem with your credit card payment. I paused and glanced at the guy at the counter and felt a chill spiral down my neck. He was one of those tall, gaunt, sketchy-looking clerks and was staring right out the window at me beckoning me to come inside. I stepped back towards the gas pump and pressed the button on the intercom. What's wrong with my card? I have a receipt. It went through just fine. I didn't try to hide the annoyance in my voice. I didn't like the look of this guy, or the way he sounded. I just need you to come inside, ma'am. Your receipt is incorrect. I'm going to need to run your card in here. He replied, a bit too quickly. I looked back at the guy through the window in frustration. Basically what he's saying is, I need, to I need to kill you inside the store so no one can see what's going on. There was That's no way what he's I was going basically there, telling you. Where I would be alone with him. He was staring at me wide-eyed like some kind of creep. I stood my ground, pulled out my phone, and checked my credit card app. I held it up stupidly as if he could see it from there. Yeah, and I pressed the intercom button again. It went through. I see it on my statement. I'm not coming in. Ma'am, if you attempt to leave, I'll call the police. I have your tag number. Please come inside. I then shouted at him from across the parking lot instead of pressing the intercom. Over $10 of gas, you're going to call the cops? Fuck you. I'm leaving. I walked a few steps around my car and gave him the finger. I was just about to walk back around my car and climb into the driver's seat when I paused. He was mouthing something to me through the window. I would have ignored it, but he suddenly looked much more desperate than creepy. He kept beckoning me forward and calling out something that I couldn't hear through the window. I must have made a weird look, because five seconds later he slammed a piece of paper on the window where he had hastily guy written, in your Guy car. in your car. Yep, bye. That's when I run away. <laughs> Ew! Man, it's one ugly ugh. inside the station. And once I was there, the clerk locked the door and told me to get down. He had his eyes on my car and had a gun oh, in his hand. A protector. I squatted down behind the counter and watched the security cameras as a tall guy in sweatpants and a windbreaker nudged my back door open, slid out quickly and jogged away into the night. I started freaking out. Turns out, the clerk had noticed the guy hanging around the side of the building on the monitors. 
and as soon as I pulled in, he made a beeline for my car. Ew. He crouched down and opened the door, and slid himself inside as I was swiping my card, being careful not to close the door all the way behind him so that I wouldn't hear anything. The clerk had noticed all of this on the camera, and immediately called the cops, who arrived a few minutes later. They searched the area and my car, but were not able to locate the guy, or anything that would lead back to him. The gas station clerk probably saved my life. Oh, he, oh, he did. What he did. Not probably, he did. With that stranger in the back seat. I think the lesson here is obvious. It's not enough to be cautious. You have to stay alert as well. Be suspicious, but not stupid. And always listen to your mom. Or dad. Do you see me fucking laughing, my nigga? <laughs> Always oh, listen to your parents. That's what the lesson should have been. But that that was good. That was really good. These are all good. But um, that's gonna wrap it up, y'all. Um, hopefully y'all got as scared as I did because those animations scared me. I got goose. I have goosebumps all over my body right now. But hey, man, if you're new, be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and uh, what should be a good outro? Stay swag. I don't know. That's that. I'll try it. I'm gonna try it. Alright, y'all. Be sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, and stay swag.